Hey everyone, this is Hassan and welcome back to my channel. I use this as a platform to share my passion for reviewing products and apps that I've used. I give you five reasons why you should or shouldn't invest your valuable time or money on apps and products I've used. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not. I use a Duracell power bank to charge up my devices while I'm on the go. I used to think that Duracell only made batteries before getting my hands on one of these power banks. Power banks use an internal battery to store a charge from any standard wall outlet, then transfers this charge to other electronic devices, uh, such as your cell phone or tablet, while you're on the go to keep them running a little bit longer for you. For many of us, a power bank is a great solution for keeping cell phones charged when you don't have access to a power outlet, for example, on camping trips. Uh, its durable, rugged design makes it easy to carry it around without having to worry about accidentally dropping it. My experience with the Duracell power bank was okay at the beginning. However, it recently just stopped charging devices. It would charge my phone for just a few minutes, then it would stop working completely. I thought that the power bank battery depleted. However, that was not the case. When I press the power indicator button, it shows that there's still juice left on it. It just won't charge devices. Here are five reasons why the Duracell power bank is a disappointment. Number one, power. Doesn't seem to hold a charge. It will charge for a few minutes, then cease to work while still retaining power. Eh, that's kind of odd. When I plug it into the wall outlet to charge it, it would show the little charging lights go up about halfway. Number two, gets hot. The power bank would get dangerously hot when you discharge it. It doesn't seem safe if you have it connected to your device while you're using it. Number three, compatibility. Doesn't seem to be compatible with charging other micro USB devices. It picks and chooses what it can or cannot charge. So disappointed. Number four, overpriced. With the product still being sold for around $40 at DuracellChargers.com, it seems overpriced and certainly not a good value. It's a 4,000 milliamp battery. Surely $40 is too much. Number five, reliability. The power bank isn't reliable. I've only used it maybe four times, then it stopped working. It did not even withstand the test of time. I recommend getting a better portable power bank. I will leave links to good ones that are available on Amazon. So feel free to take a look.